Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand. So far in the Excel VBA 2016 Beginners to Advanced Edition, we have successfully completed the list of topics that we had planned uh, well in advance. So these are the, the nine videos which we have already made and you have already watched. Now those videos have given you enough basic understanding how do we work and what it's nothing like uh, uh, every building blocks you must know before you start programming now the 10th video onwards you will be learning there are 15 examples i'll be showing you guys which are real time examples to get your work started with so once you get used to these 15 examples and yes you will be able to write your own program develop your own concept and achieve your goals okay let's get started today before we continue as i always say please do not forget to subscribe my channel i don't want you guys to miss any of my videos and please do share and comment on the video if you have any questions and yes if you guys would like me to do a video on any examples that you would like us to demonstrate here Say for example, if you would like us to, uh, if you would like me to demonstrate a H calculator or a, or say anything, anything you would like me to do, so you can just comment on this video. I'll get this video for sure. Okay. So without wasting much time, let's get started with our example today. So this example is going to be pretty interesting and simple. So we are going to learn slowly, steadily. Okay. So I have three macros. I'll just show you how it works and then show you how do we write this in program. First button says save, second color it and clear all. Okay, save button which just saves the workbook. You could see the bottom of this here, the status bar. Whenever I click on save, it is saving Microsoft, saving VBA 2016. So this is a macro which helps us to save the workbook this macro works similar to the one which is given by default in the excel which is you can see this button save button this is same as uh, button control plus s to save a workbook pretty simple but this is through macros number two color it and so here i've chosen the range that a to a1 to b10 to color this so excel keeps uh, an index number for each color so you don't make any mistakes in writing these words or color name. You can simply refer to the number one, two, three, four, and so on, and it will let you color it. Say for example, watch this. When I click on color it, uh, enter color index number. Say I want it to be uh, colored with five, say blue. I'll just say five and click OK. And you could see this from A1 to B10, it is colored. And the third button I have to demonstrate here is called clear all. Clear all will just reset your workbook back to the beginning. Just say clear all. Your format has gone. Okay. Let's look at this through coding. So here, the module one is the example one. Like this, I'll be creating for 15 modules. Remember, all your macro writing can be worked under module. These modules or these programs are available to use on any of the sheet i'm currently using them on sheet one if i want i can use it on sheet two sheet three anywhere i want to okay so modules always available everywhere but when you write a program within a sheet this will be available only in that sheet especially when you program for that sheet where do we use it when do we use it when you have to do a particular event capture for that sheet use these sheet one sheet two sheet three otherwise use module what is event capture say if some before somebody deleting the sheet you would like to give an alert so use before delete the worksheet so if you would like to give an alert whenever sheet gets activated use this sheet activated means when somebody switch over to sheet one say i'm on some other sheet switching on a sheet one i will use the activate command a event capture okay but now our examples I'm going to use only modules because these are all based on uh, this can be used anywhere on this workbook yeah. on any sheets. Okay. First one. This is a simple one line macro, one line programming or code which will save the workbook. Remember the word this, T-H-I-S, this represent the current workbook or current activity you are on okay now what this command line say 
this workbook dot save so i'm telling the mac telling the excel vba so whatever the workbook we are currently on save this workbook okay now let me write all these uh remove all this and then start writing in, in a new page let me say for your benefit i'll start with the new page okay give me a minute just keeping it aside to save our time how do you start say this is a blank sheet for example now you go to developer tab under insert you find form controls these are all used to assign um, modules you write in the module section okay so you can also use this activex when you're developing a form use a form which you will be learning in the the next tutorial from advanced to expert which will be after these 15 examples we're going to conduct so now what i need is i need three buttons so this is a button you can see so i'm going to draw them here it will ask you to for a macro name just, just say okay for that nothing to worry and change i'm going to change this name saying save okay and i need another button which just says color oh sorry i got a wrong one another button this is to say color it and the one last button i need is to clear all now so I need to write macro for this. So well, let me get on with this. Editor. The first one is this workbook.save. So how do you start? You should be already knowing all this since I have already showed you in the previous video. You need to start writing a, a sub uh, function which begins with sub and you can name anything. This is user defined name. I'll use save. Okay. What is this? This work book dot save that's it you will click on save and then right click on the button you would like to assign this macro the macro is ready so right click on the button and click on assign macro you can see the save which was the name of the function you wrote the save is the name and you can see the same name here click on this and say okay and now you're ready to run this you click on a button you could see the excel is being saved on my status bar run perfect now let us write another macro for the second one which is for color so this again i'm going to call this as sub color open bracket close bracket enter so here i'll write range so you can see this is what you must be writing i'll just copy and paste for to save some time range a1 to b10 interior dot color index is equal to see this is the syntax dot interior dot color index is equal to some number say i'll give you number five and i'll save it let me assign this to color it button this is the color and say okay now moment i click on color it from a1 to b10 you could see the blue color right but now it is not asking me for the color index this will be user defined if you get a prompt i enter the color index and then you color the workbook because every time you click on color it only colors with blue because your program says blue because number five is blue right so this has to be uh, made uh, so with the prompt with the prompt in the previous video we had discussed on uh, how do we uh, work with input box let me use an input box for this okay before i use input box i need a a variable to save the value in the input box let me uh, get the input box up so this is what the input box enter color index number this can be anything this is user defined i will say enter color index number then now uh, user will enter the index number i need to save it into some certain variable so i need a variable so how do we create a variable say dim I'll use C as the color and as if I don't know what value comes in here, the best way of whatever working out as a beginner, just choose them as variant and everything can be saved in C. And I'll use C is equal to input box. Whatever the value the age, uh, user enters that comes and saves into C. Okay. And then what I should mention here, 
the range is equal to rem so equals to c so that is the range you can define this range uh, whatever range you would like to and then dot interior dot color index is equal to c so a prompt will ask a user to enter the color index number and he enters the number the number comes and saves in c and then uh, the c here is a number which will be uh, changing the color of this range let's try this save it and let me assign this to color again now i'll click on this you can see enter color index number i'd say seven and say okay i could see the color change to seven so what is seven seven is pink so you can work out there are a list of numbers uh, i'm not going to give you all the colors for, for what number which color i would like you to go back home and experience it to keep changing the number and then you'll see different color coming up and combinations comes up okay and then the third button very simple clear all now uh, let me start another module so another sub function sub clear open bracket close bracket and then press enter so here i should be uh, if you want to clear uh, i'm going to clear the range here so you can just take the same range what you have actually colored in the previous section in previous module or say function so just put a dot and say clear you can clear uh, the simple clear will clear everything including format number everything if you just take it's just to say clear contents only contents will be cleared like wordings will be cleared. whatever you have typed data will be cleared if you clear format the color format like number size font those will be cleared so but if you want to clear everything just click on just use this clear first one okay that's it and uh, let me save it and assign it right click on the clear all button and click on assign macro use this button clear use this macro clear and say okay so when i run it you could see it is cleared okay the first one was to save second one was to color it asking for a number i'll say number nine any any number and this colored and third one is to clear all so this was a quick example on excel uh, VBA 2016 so that was the example number one out of 15 so if you watch uh, please do comment on this video what type of example that you would like me to bring up in future uh, if in the next uh, 14 videos and at the end of the tutorial I'll also make video on how to become a freelancer so you can work from home for many companies online like I do and uh, earn money for certain projects you get on Excel or purely Excel okay based on whatever learnings from this tutorials of our learn and earn channel so that's all from me for today so see you guys on the next video and the video part 11 that will be more interesting and yes uh, please do subscribe to the channel do refer to your friends so together we learn and earn all is well thank you